So I, I got involved in, in this as a biologist, as a person interested in conservation. I developed a passion and a love for the forest and as a person uh, with a direct stake in the community here because this is my home. The Stores for Life project is an energy efficient carbon offset project that is built around emission reductions that installs ceramic energy efficient liners in people's households around the forest region. These liners use almost half as little firewood as normal traditional tree stone fires. We are here in a household with a tree stone fire, which is an open fire. So this means people still cook on, on an open fire, which creates a lot of smoke during the burning process. And behind me we see the storage of the firewood collected from the Kakamega forest nearby. Without improvement in livelihoods, conservation is not sustainable. So we have to develop a project that marries conservation and preservation of the ecosystem with the improvement of livelihoods. That's how the Stoves for Life project is built. We buy ceramic liners from local communities, particularly women's groups. So we use carbon credit money to buy these liners. We have different production groups that actually produce uh, out of soil a clay liner. Which is then fired in a kiln. Just after firing, we sort out the liners based on the quality. So you want to make sure that the end user is able to use the liners for a longer period. Then we pay for the liner. I'm a mother of five children and I'm now the one who is uh, running the, the group as a chairperson. The stoves has made me to uplift my livelihood. Once I sell, it's easy to afford food in my family. <laughs> Having a school fees for my children. After paying for the liners, uh, we are using several transportation systems for transferring our liners to installation sites. A uh, is being one of them. And these clay liners are then installed in the household so that you have a fixed installed stove. The benefits of these projects we clearly see through our annual monitoring. By reducing firewood consumption, we can actually reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Before they had to go to the forest about three or four times a week, now they usually go just once. Without my climate, we couldn't get to this far. It has really supported the work of the Stop for Life project. We take care of the whole certification process so that we are sure that the emission reductions are really happening. So far, we've uh, installed over 13,000 liners in the community, and that's a proud thing for me. And uh, that really gives us uh, more energy to keep on. Everybody has a lot of hope, especially when uh, we can see that we are being appreciated by the community and we feel that uh, whatever we are doing is somehow noble. The bigger picture 
is to save the environment, especially Kakamega Forest. I'd like to see what we have now continue to be there for the next generation to see, even after we're gone. In the end, it's not just Eco2, not just the community, it benefits all of us if we protect the forest. Carbon revenue supports all the steps that allow the spread of energy efficient liners in communities around the forest. Every time you buy a carbon offset, you pay a project developer such as MyClimate to absorb the carbon dioxide that you have produced in your everyday life uh, to driving, flying, you know, building a house. You paying for the amount of carbon dioxide to be reduced in the atmosphere through an emission reduction project such as the one, such as the one we are doing.